Hi everyone, welcome to Nurse Pro. The purpose of this channel is to help all of you to pass your OSCE exam, hope that you can get your nursing license and to work in the UK. So today's our topic is the administration of suppository. This is one of the OSCE skill station. This channel is just for sharing purpose and you could choose your own words and your, arrange your own sequence. You could do whatever that would help you to remember all the key points and to complete your task. And remember, you need to check the latest marking scheme because the NMC will update the marking scheme every few months. So make sure you know the latest point. So for the general steps for all stations, please refer to the video of OSCE framework. That video will tell you how to arrange your sequence for all procedural skill stations. So I will go through these general steps very quickly in this video because the main purpose of this video is the suppository. So when you start your station, number one, before you approach your patient, make sure the environment is clean and safe. The floor is clutter-free, no obstacles, so no fall rates for the patient. And then you need to maintain privacy and dignity. You could do it by closing the door or closing the curtain. And also you need to do the hand hygiene. Make sure you do it uh, with seven steps according to the WHO guideline if it's the first time that you need to show your examiner. And then number two, you approach your patient. You need to greet your patient. You do the self-introduction. And also you need to ask the patient how would you like to be called or how shall I address you, so that you respect the patient's preference for calling the name. And then you need to use a short sentence to state the aim, so that the patient will know the reason that you're coming. And then you check the identity of the patient. If you are in the hospital, please check the full name, date of birth and the hospital number. If you are in the community, please check the name, the full name, date of birth, and the full address. Then you check the allergy, and then you restate the aim. You give more details, tell more, explain more to the patient, and also you need to gain consent. Is it alright for me to proceed? Are you happy for me to proceed? Something like this. And then you need to check comfort. You need to make sure that the patient is comfortable. Um, for example, you may need to tell the patient at the duration of your procedure and let the patient to have a psychological preparedness. And you may also need to ask your patient, uh, do you need to use the toilets before we start the procedure? Yeah, and you leave the patient and you go to prepare for the task. So this video will focus on the administration of suppository. This is the Pareto administration of medication. So this station, you have 10 minutes and positioning is important and also you need to wear your apron and a pair of non sterile gloves. So first of all, you need to explain the reason for the suppository. It really depends on your scenario. So you need to read through your question paper. You need to find out the reason of giving this medication to your patient. You may explain like this. The doctor prescribed it the medication for your, for, let's say, constipation. And also you need to tell the patient that you may have urgency um, passing this due after I give you the medication, okay? You also need to reassure your patients that the bedpan, combo, and the toilet is readily available. So it depends on patient situation, whether the patients need to use a commode or bedpan or the patient is able to go to the toilet. You need to get these things ready for your patients, okay? And then positioning is important in this station. You need to make sure that you fulfilled all this. You need to state all these points. You need to tell the examiner talk, you're talking to your patient. So you need to tell your patient that I would like you to line left lateral with your knee flexed. Would you mind keep your buttocks near the edge of the bed? Something like that. So make sure you highlight these three points and let the examiner know that you know all this. You understand the position of the station. So after that, you can leave the patient with a call bell and then you check the prescription. Remember, you need to read aloud the whole prescription. You need to find the five rights, right patient, right drug, right dose, 
right date, time and frequency, and right route. And make sure for all medication you need to check allergy. You need to check patient's allergy. So for example, you are given this scenario, ABC is submitted to the medical ward. He requires his suppository as below. Date is today, time is 10 o'clock. Now you need to read aloud like this. Patient's name, ABC, date of birth, blah blah blah. Patient number, blah blah blah. Patient is allergic to blah blah blah. The drug name is glycerin, for example. The dosage is 4 mg. And then the root is parietal and should be given instead immediately. And it's due now at 10 o'clock. With Dr. Signature, Dr. XYZ, today. At the right hand side, you'll see that the box for nurse signature is empty. It's not written down anything yet. So, the medication is not yet given, it's time to be given now. After you read aloud the whole prescription, you must also ensure that you got the prescribed name, signature and the prescription date, and not yet given, okay? And you, so, you can also tell the examiner that the prescription is complete, valid and eligible. If BIP number or GP number is given to you, please read them out. Alright, this is a very um, important point for the suppository. You need to read the inserts because according to the marking scheme, you need to check the manufacturer suggestions regarding the insertion end. The manufacturer may suggest you to insert with a tip or the blunt end. So it really depends on the manufacturer recommendation. You just have limited time. You need to complete the whole procedure and at the same time, you got an insert, um, maybe you have it, maybe it is written down on the package or maybe uh, the examiner gives you an insert. Yeah, whatever, you need to find out the insertion end. If nothing is given to you or if you do not have enough time to find out the answer, at least you should say, I will insert the medication according to manufacturer recommendation. Tell the examiner you know this. You know this important point, okay? If you really got an insert, try to find some keywords. You need to scan, scan the uh, insert because there are a lot of words. You don't have time to read it all over. Find the words on um, administration, methods of administration, direction to use, something like this, and then you find the keywords, the insertion end, all right? And then you go to um, get your tray, make sure it's clean. And then you get the medication, you need to check the drug name, the package is dry, intact and undamaged, check the expiry date, and you don't have to bother the uh, clear no precipitates because it's not a solution. Okay, number three, you need to get the lubricating jelly. It may be the lubricating jelly or your pot of water. Yeah. And then number four is gauze, and you also need to get in compact. When you're ready to return to your patients, make sure you do the hand hygiene and then you wear the apron and a pair of non sterile gloves. So when you're back to your patients, gain consent before you further proceed and then you need to check the identity again because you're giving medication. And also you need to check the allergy, okay? And at the same time, you can explain the effects and side effects of the medication. Alright, so just before you administer the suppository, place an ink pad underneath the patient's bottle and then you check the anal area. You need to read out all these key words in order to fulfill your task. I do not see any skin soreness, excoriation, infestation, swelling, hemorrhoids, rectal prolapse, sign of infection. And also you need to state that the site is clean so it is suitable for me to insert the suppository. When you're ready, you lubricate your medication. You place the lubricating jelly on the gauze and then you lubricate the suppository. And then for insertion, first of all, point number three, you separate the buttock with your non-dominant hand. And then number four, you insert with the correct end according to the manufacturer's recommendation and then you advance it to around 2 to 4 cm. After the instruction, point number 7, you remove the exact jelly using balls. And then you remove the gloves and apron. 
Then you do the hand hygiene and then make sure you cover back your patients to maintain privacy and dignity. And after that, you do the hand hygiene and you complete the medication record. Please sign your records. This is very important because you just have limited time. Okay, make sure you sign. You sign your initial and then you write the date and time. If there is a boss asking you to write the administrator name, please write it down. After the documentation, please reassure your patients to check comfort notes. You need to make sure that the patient is comfortable after the insertion of suppository. Okay, this is to remind you to sign the right box. Then you need to provide some patient education. You need to tell the patients that you need to remain lying down for 20 minutes or until you are unable to do so. And then, it is normal if you feel some discharge. It is due to medication melts. And also, you need to reassure the patients that bedpan, commode or toilet is readily available. If you still have time, please give patients some dietary advice. For example, the patient is having constipation now, you need to give some advice about the food intake. Please intake more fruits and vegetables and drink adequate water to maintain your hydration. So these all can prevent constipation. So before you end the station, make sure you give a call bell to your patient and then you dispose all the waste properly and also you need to do the hand hygiene and you need to clean the equipment you may just verbalize that you will clean the tray with alcohol webs and make it ready for next use okay so all these steps are helping you to fulfill the call prioritize people practice effectively preserve safety and promote professional summon trust he has come to the end of the administration of suppository station. So remember, you need to understand and you need to remember the whole procedure. You need to check the manufacturer recommendation on the insertion end. And also you need to do the site inspection before you insert the medication. So you need to remember all those points and then you need to sign your record. All right. And also you need to make sure that the toilet or carbon or the bed pan is readily available for the patients because patients may feel nervous. They may feel urgency after the insertion of the medication. All right. And also, please give some education to the patients um, that the patients need to remain lying down for 20 minutes. These are all the key points that you need to remember. Hope you will find this video useful and pass your task. If you find this useful, please press the like button and subscribe this channel. See you next time. Bye.